It can be easily argued that with action games, this might be the hardest category to give a Game of the Year award. Many games have action and ton of it, but it's at their core. And what do you interact with? And how do you interact with that action that sort of describes an action game to me? For example, Ratchet and Clank, that's a platformer action game. And while it could be both categorized, I think arguments aside, it's an amazing title. Technically, story-wise, its presentation is to the level that Hollywood studios might blink twice. But that is not the game that I think is the best 2021 action game. There's a title that always popped up no matter what. I'd like to know what your titles are. Put them in the comments section. I would love to hear what games you thought were the 2021 action game of the year. If you get a chance, subscribe. Mine is Returnal. Beauty and Chaos, Death, Bullet Hell, Hard. Where the hell's the save? How do you save? Why is it so difficult? I hate this game. I love this game. You heard it all. Returnal's name is absolutely perfect. It's a mixture of returning and urinal. The excellence of amazing gameplay with stinky, horrible death and always having to go just a little bit. But unlike its namesake, Returnal didn't dribble out the content or the difficulty. The bullet hell was at 11 the moment you started the game and posts on Twitter range from I can't even get past the first biome to I beat it with a guitar controller and just one button. But it was fast. It was amazing. It had a strange alien design, deja vu mixed with fever dream stories, kept many people interested as they grabbed more and more eclectic weapons to fight more and more eclectic enemies. Enemies that for one of the first games ever showed that true bullet hell can be done in 3D, which isn't that easy. Depth and extra degrees of movement meant additional lines of lineage ending as you juked when you should have jumped. But it didn't matter. The main character was flicky fast, almost slick, and their ability to consistently put you pretty much where you wanted, to me, spoke to the developer's incredible handling of movement and understanding that if you're going to require something from the gamer, you need to give it back. While the game launched with an assortment of issues, both real and opinionated from the think tank of complaint forums, Returnal was special to me. It's something that I can see being the skeleton of so many other developers' future classics. Its ideas, its presentation, and most importantly, sound, which was a stepping stone to the excellence of the gameplay and the platforming. It rewarded banging your head into the seemingly improbable odds until somehow you headbanged the number one into the number two, and that was just the count of the bio. To me, Returnal's true claim to fame isn't just the overwhelming barrage of consistent alien attacks or the enemy design or the flavored mystery of old cabins showing up on alien planets and you getting to save by sleeping in Stargate sarcophagi, which just doesn't seem like a good idea. It's that if you watch closely, Returnal always offered you the information you needed, the opening in a strange pattern of enemy attacks, the odd momentary pause of an enemy before they leapt into your character in what can only be assumed as a censored moment of alien love. Difficulty has to be matched by desire, that desire to continue past the point that the difficulty continues to defeat you. Returnal offered that. It's a story that was always dropping strange hints to its feeling of success when you sweatily slid into another biome, and somehow the fear of dying ratched up higher now than you ever thought it could have been just seconds before. If some games are technical displays of how to move a genre into and successfully from another dimension... Returnal has to be leading the pack, and just like the failures in each new genre, some are going to die and never come back, but you can bet Returnal will, just like your need to pee right now that you didn't know you had, but uh, now that I mentioned it, you got to go. But I'd like to know, once again, what are yours? There were so many action games this year. This is one of the things that I want to make clear is it's a very difficult decision because I haven't played every single game. No one has. So some of the games you may have played and you love, maybe you also played Returnal and you like it more than Returnal. I'd like to know why that is. I think with action games, especially those that require a great deal from the player, such as Returnal when it comes to its difficulty, can launch and have their issues. And we certainly saw that with Returnal, where a lot of people complained about the various save states and just how it works. Worked. And I think overall, there were some real complaints there with how it worked. There were some changes that need to be made. But regardless, it was the gameplay itself. When I jumped in, it didn't really matter, even though it was nut crushingly hard at times. I always felt like there was some little hint, some little bit of data, some little dream that I could see of a future me getting to the next biome that continued to push me forward. It was almost like everything in a world is typically horizontal and 100% flat. And yet, with Returnal, the gameplay was always slanted just a little bit to the right, so I always felt like I was moving forward just a little bit each time, no matter what. There were moments of slickness, moments of excellent platforming, as well as gameplay, but also when you got the new weapons and new places to explore and new ways to take out enemies, you were always sort of engaged and sort of understanding exactly what was going on, even if you couldn't understand what was going on in that goddamn story.
And we can certainly admit it took various different design ideas from Geiger and from Aliens, the movies as well, even though those are also from Geiger, all those different things. But I just think that Returnal, to me, is one of the slickest presented bullet hell type of style games, but also just one of the best jumps into another genre I think I've ever seen. Really phenomenal title. So that's it for me. That's my answer. I'd love to know what your guys are. Post it in the comments. If you like these, post them in the comments. What categories do you want to see? Post that in the comments. Check out Twitter, Facebook, and of course, Patreon, best place to support the channel. Peace out.